now, the organisation you work for says, we know where you are. Auntie's put boxing gloves on, and I was so incensed by the idea that I'm guilty of something, that I actually cancelled my TV licence fee a few months ago. Because yeah. I'm not going to have the BBC, or any organisation, threatening me. I've cancelled my TV licence, and they haven't found me. Nobody's come knocking on the door. And it's a serious point to make. There are too many organisations, and the BBC seem to think it's okay to badger, hector, and threaten people. The BBC makes over £3 billion a year by pestering the occupants of households and demanding money with menaces. For over half a century, the BBC has repeatedly incited fear into the minds of the UK population with adverts like this. Yes, there's a TV set on at number five. It's in the front room. And they're watching Columbo. If you don't have a TV license, it won't take us long to find you. What is this advert saying? The advert is attempting to create a false fear by making the viewer believe that the BBC can legally eavesdrop on any home in the UK. But the BBC now admit that no one has ever been convicted as a result of evidence obtained from a TV detector van. So these adverts were designed to create fear over something that doesn't exist. However, the BBC continued to use this ploy because they know that scared people are more willing to hand over their money. If you're viewing without a TV license, you'll need to keep one eye on the road. Because TV detector vans are in this area. They have the address of every house or flat that doesn't have a TV license. So you could face a summons and a fine of up to 200 pounds. Please get a license before you get a visit. Before you get a visit? In other words, pay up or we'll send the boys round. Would you normally do business with someone who speaks to people like this? 50p, fat man. Yeah, okay, Griff, well, I'll try. <laughs> Every Monday you come looking for me, right? With your 20p, right? And you tell anyone, and I'll put you in a wheelchair, right? As if this kind of intimidation wasn't bad enough. The BBC then started to prey on people's fears of being branded as a criminal. Don't even know why we bother to pay our license. <laughs> we don't. But haven't we got a license? No. But that makes me a criminal! Clearly, the BBC's policy is to treat you as a criminal by constantly assuming that you are guilty of a crime just because you haven't got a TV license. All right, all right, don't rush me. I mean, that is not such an easy question to answer, you know. Have I got a telly? There could be a number of, like, different replies, couldn't there? I mean, I need time to think one up. Huh? We know you've got one. We detected it. Oh. And in times of recession, the BBC seemed to have no qualms about preying on our fear of being short of money. Uh, yeah, I've just had it re-sprayed. Uh, Raging Bull Red with Super Sheen metallic finish. Nice, isn't it? The dysentery beige wasn't exactly uh, a beard magnet. <clears throat> anyway, I had to save a few bob to uh, get it done, so I sort of forgot to pay my TV licence. <laughs> and uh, I got caught and fined. Still, the lasses don't notice in the dark. Or, or if I stand here, like this. Notice the threatening slogan. Pay now or you'll pay later. This is the kind of language you'd only expect a bully to use. Get the money. Mm -hmm. Either you pay us or we pay you. By the 1990s, the BBC were attempting to incite fear of what our neighbours may think of us should they find out that we haven't bought a TV licence. £62 is a fair bit for me to find, but I pay it. I reckon it's worth it for all the enjoyment I get from the telly and the radio. Trouble is, there are certain other people, not a million miles away, that I'm paying for as well. If you don't pay your fee, you make others pay your share. It's just over one pound a week and it's the law.
Notice how they are trying to make you feel guilty that you're somehow making someone else's life worse, because you don't have a TV license. Look, next door's got a satellite TV. He's always bragging about it. I said to him the other day, I hope you've got a TV license for that, because you do need a license, you know. He told me to shut up and mind my own business. I said, well, don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, he knocked on his door this morning. Made him ditch it a day. Here, they appear to be boasting that what they do is a system and that you cannot beat it. In this next advert, the BBC has the audacity to try to make people feel guilty for buying food for their children instead of handing it over to the BBC. I don't know what he feeds that baby. He's got so much in his plate, he's even forgotten to get a new TV license. He could buy it online. Then he wouldn't have the threat of a court appearance and a fine of up to £1,000 hanging over his head. They have a list of every address without a license, after all. Maybe then he could teach his son the difference between a potty and a sofa. Even today, the BBC continue to use the threat of menaces, using their tired mantra, We know where you live. This is exactly the kind of language used by extortion racketeers. Your town, your street, your home. It's all in our database. New technology means it's easy to pay your TV license and impossible to hide if you don't. It's all in the database. Those creepy sounds and distant sirens are clearly there to make you feel nervous and to leave you with the impression that TV license avoidance is seen to be as despicable as terrorism. And finally, petty crime is on the increase. The latest figures show... Yes, you've been a bit, shall we say, naughty recently, haven't you? <laughs> Can't get away, that gets you in the end. Not having a TV license is a criminal offence. Our computer has the address of everyone in the country, so it's only a matter of time before we catch up with you. Don't wait for the knock on the door. Here, we see another example of the BBC using fear and threats in order to extort money. Clearly, it is the BBC who are the real criminals. By giving your money to the BBC, you are directly funding organized criminals and a powerful paedophile network. The more money we give them, the more difficult they will be to stop. So, take back your power, show the BBC that you will not be bullied into handing over your hard-earned money. What's that right? Got a new payment card for you. For what? CV licensing. We don't have TV. Can I just come in and confirm that, please? No, you ain't coming in my house. Okay, I, I don't have nothing to do with your paedophile ring, mate. Yeah. I okay, don't have anything to do with them. Okay. And we we don't we showed that to the last bloke who came. Right, okay. And uh, we showed him that we didn't have a uh, normal telly. All right. How to deal with TV licensing goons. Rule 1. Never give them your name, or any other personal details. Never let them into your home, and never admit to anything. Rule 2. Provide them with an official notice that you are evoking their implied right of access to your property. Also, provide them with a schedule of your fees. Rule 3. Always make sure you film them right from the outset. 
this will prevent them from trying to intimidate, and it usually scares them away. Make no mistake, these scumbags do not like being filmed. And I'll, uh, I'll see you again, all right. All right, and I have got one, but I, I, it's probably in that cupboard over there. So That's smashing, thank you. All right, but it should be on file anyway. Don't you do it. Do that to me, I'll smack you in the mouth, you little git. Data protection, mate. It's illegal what you do. No, it isn't. I'm on my property. You dare. Come on, if you walk out, mate. You're what? You're what? You scummy little git. You don't mind if I film you, do you? No, 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 wait a minute, you've come to me door, you've shown me TV license identification. Why does a video scare you all of a sudden? You're all the same, you know! Have you recently moved here? Just to let you know, I'm recording this for my really? own safety. Okay. What's Would you like to introduce yourself? No, I'd like to go, because I'm not allowed to be recorded. Right. Well, don't come round here and say you need to speak to me and then don't introduce yourself. I won't be recorded. That's How it. dare you? I won't be recorded. Fuck off. Hello. Uh, possibly, why? Uh, excuse me, where are you going? <laughs> Can I just say, you can't come back. Look for it on YouTube. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mr. TV man. Listen, young camera. You're coming round my house threatening me to ring police and that ID card. <laughs> hey, can you just have a minute with me? So we can talk about this. Can we do this? Don't run away. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't run away. Hello? Hello? You alright? You don't mind if I film me, do you? Absolutely. That's um, reaching me rights, Danny. You can film as much as you want. I've got um, an application for a warrant here. Now, it's up to you whether you want to carry on with this. This will go to magistrate for us. That's up to you. What do you want to a do? warrant for who? For what? This address here. I'll just show you. First of all, you can get done for that. But you can film me as much as you want, because I know I'm not bothered, you know what I mean? Here, look. Yeah? Yeah. My obliged to look at that? You have a warrant for what I'm going to show You've you. come to my door? Yeah. You're a stranger? I am. TV licensing. Right. Okay. Have you got identification? I showed you my ID. You can show me my ID, I've not seen your ID. I showed you your ID. For the video, for and on the record, I have not seen who you are. Okay. Unless you're prepared to identify yourself, I don't have yeah, to speak to you. Yeah, ID. TV licensing. For the video, please. For and on the record. Can I have your name? 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 Are you prepared to identify yourself? Are you prepared to identify yourself? You come here with empty threats, you've got nothing. You don't even know if I've got a telly. You don't even know if I'm using or liable to have to pay for a TV license. You know nothing. You come to me door. Asking personal questions and you've got no right! Power to the people! Do not trust the government! No identification! Just, I am TV licensed! Not prepared to put your identification on record! Not prepared to give your name! You've got no power! Might be what, sir? Yes, if you're from where, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'm and what here. do you want? I'm not here to argue with you. You're, you're damn right you're not. Now, can you tell us who you are and what do you want? Come on, while we're under the camera, let's hear it. Do you have anything to say? Because this will be on YouTube this evening. 
Yes, good evening to you, sir. Follow him, follow him, follow him. <laughs> Just make sure that you put down that the implied right of access has been revoked. <laughs> All right? Have a nice day. All right, mate, now filming this because uh, I'm a bit tired of the harassment from the TV company. Have you got ID? Yeah, I do. Anything. Right, I've removed all implied rights of access from uh, your company. I've notified them of that. Okay. There's no... In can I see the ID, please? No, it's okay. I've shown you. You've got to it. Okay. Yeah. Right, so there's no implied rights of access here. Um, I've informed the TV company I haven't got a TV. I'm sick of the harassment. This is private property. Okay, let, let, what I would just do, I would just enter the details. Enter You're the not having any of my details, sir. It's private property. Okay, okay, okay. okay thank you. Have a nice day, mate. No, no hard feelings, yeah? Right, can you just sh show me your ID, please? Yep, that's my ID here, sir. OK. Well, this is private property. Yep. And I'm sick of the harassment from the TV licence company. I'm refusing all implied rights of access from here. And any other people that will call at my address that we posted on the internet. OK, OK, no problem. OK? Yep, no problem, sir. Thank you very much for your help. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yep. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you, sir. I'm from TV licensing. Oh, no, no contract with you, mate. Oh, no. No, I've got no contract with you whatsoever. And I have a letter through yeah. to say that you're going to leave me alone for two years. Well, are, you, are you being in contact with us, I take it? I, I, no contract with you. Everything you send through, I'll send back. No right. contract. Well, what, all I'm saying is if you have a TV here, sir, and you're using it for TV... But I'm programs. not confirming or denying if I have. Because <laughs> I haven't got to. <laughs> okay. Oh, if you read the notice on the door... Yeah. That's your implied rights of access removed from this property. Right, yeah. So, read the notice and then you're trespassing. Okay, sir. Yeah. Can I take your name, please? N no, I'm not willing to give that. Okay, sir. All right, thanks very much. Sorry to bother you. Thank you. Sorry, that's better. You okay? Yeah. Do you, what do you want to do? About what? Uh, your TV licence. Well, I don't use the telly. You, you, do you use it? Have you got it online? You recording me? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. For my own safety. Alright. Well, what's, I'm not going to do anything to you. Well, I've, I'm sick and tired of all the letters. You know, I've told you people, I don't watch telly. You don't watch telly. Have you got a TV in your flat now? Yeah. Do you want me to check it? And if it has no, if you get no TV programs, I'm fine with that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not with that. You know, I'd rather you had a warrant. If all you right. Don't mind. Okay. Well, right, I'll leave it like that then. Thanks for your time. All right. I've got it connected to a DVD player. My daughter watches DVDs. That's, and that's it. That's absolutely fine. You don't need a license for that. Yeah, I don't. All right. I know. Thanks, I... thanks for your time, mate. All right. All right. Cheers, so, mate. Am I going to keep getting letters? Oh, well, the thing is, what happens, you'll get the letters until you reply, telling them that you've got no TV. Well, I've just you told to... you I haven't got TV. Yeah, you've told me, that's fine, and I'll put that on the system. But it's important that you let them know that beforehand. You could have written back and just told them, you go, don't use your TV for life. Right, from now on, yeah. from now on, because I do suffer quite a lot from anxiety. That's fine. Yeah, can, you, that. can you please make a note, because I'm making a note of it right now, that I am now... Yeah. removing any and all implied right of access to, to this property. Okay. okay. Because you didn't ring the buzzers, which which tells me mm. that you entered this property unlawfully. Oh, well, if there's, if there's a trade button, I can come in. Right. There's nothing stopping me doing that. I'm, I'm allowed to do that. I mean, I know that. But anyway, I hope I didn't hurt right. your feelings or anything. Okay. No I'm more implied right of access. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks for your time. Do you understand what that means? Mm. All right. Okay. Do you understand what that means? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks for your time anyway. Will you let them know, please? Yeah, of course I will. Because I don't want any more visits. All right, then. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you having TV license in? Okay. Uh, just, just to prove who I am. Um, okay. Um, what I've done, we've had a, a confirmation from my manager today to confirm that... I'm just com coming to confirm that with you. Mm -hmm. um, is that okay? Um, it's just showing that um, there's no licence at the premises, and you've confirmed there's a TV here, um, and, you, uh, and you've not had a licence since 2011? No, I never will have one either. Right, okay, so um, you're confirming there's a TV at the premises. Yeah. What I'll do, I'll take some details off you, if that's okay with you. Is that okay? Would you like to come in? Would you mind, is that okay? No, well, you know what's coming next, don't you? Okay. You do not need 
a television license.